I say bananas, you say peppers. And today, you guys, it's time for us to unbox the last 12 of these five surprise mini brand balls that we have to unbox. Last week, we opened the first 12 out of this case, and now it's time to unbox the second 12. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I will leave it in the info box for you guys. You don't have to watch it in like a part one, part two, any particular order, but I am feeling lucky today, you guys. I'm really hoping that in these last 12 balls, we're gonna see some of the carts, maybe even a register, maybe a couple of paper bags. That's the only spoiler alert if you haven't watched the first unboxing video of these yet. It seems like getting the little hand carts or the push cards, we didn't get a single one of those last time. It was all just the little miniature foods and drinks and stuff like that. We, none none of the cards are registers. Really hope that we see some of those today. Let's just, without any more hesitation, jump right into it. I think we are on the quest for 33 missing objects. We've gotten 37 out of the 70. We have, you know, slightly less than half, but let's get started. I also have all of the ones that we unboxed last time in this little bag in case we want to, you know, compare any of the things that we get today. All right. Ooh, let's see. What are we going to get in here? First one. Aww. Okay, let's go ahead and open up section number one. What did we get? Ooh, it looks like something new. Yeah, wow, okay. Um, now I haven't heard of this brand before either. Maybe you guys have Kitchen Basics and this looks like it's gonna be unsalted chicken stock. Chicken stock goes into making one of my all time favorite dishes, which is homemade chicken and dumplings. That's normally what we use chicken stock for, but we use a different brand. It's so funny, I guess a lot of the items that I said last time, oh, I've never seen this item. I've never seen this brand. Other people in Texas did leave a comment down below saying that you've seen it. So maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm not shopping down the right aisles or something. <laughs> Somehow I am missing it. Ooh, it's another new one, you guys. This is the McCormick organic line again. So last time we saw organic thyme and this time we have organic paprika. So far so good you guys. Two new ones. Let's see what is this. Ooh, okay so this one is very similar to an item that we got in series either series one or series 1.5 but it is a package of bacon. Now, since they did say like 70 new items to collect, I'm gonna assume that this is a different variety of bacon. Maybe you can leave me a comment down below and let me know if you remember what style of bacon was in either series one or 1.5. This is naturally hardwood smoked bacon from Oscar Mayer. And it's cute. It really, like, I don't know what, I think that this is just like a sticker on some kind of plastic or something, but it's like the plastic actually does feel like ridged under there. So it really does feel like you're holding on to like an actual little packet of miniature bacon strips. Um, okay, section number four. Wow, it's another new one. So this is something that definitely reminds me of Thanksgiving. It is stove top chicken stuffing mix. Now, I don't know if I've ever had the chicken version, but I definitely do know that we use the turkey stuffing one around the holidays. All right, last, oh my gosh, yay. Okay, give me five seconds. I'm gonna assemble this really quick and see which kind of rolling cart this is, because there's actually two different options for rolling carts this time. There's two carts with wheels. So I'm gonna snap it together so we can see what it looks like. All right, you guys. Oh my gosh. I love the little carts this time. They were really, really cute last time as well, but these have so many more pieces. They're so much more intricate and they really take a little bit longer to put together, which I think is great. I mean, it's really, really fun. So I'm sure you guys can see the baskets this time are much more sophisticated. It's actually like this little crate, which I think is great as well. Cause I mean, if you wanted to like photograph your little miniatures or something like that, this sort of gives you like an extra option because it's like a little basket you could use separately or you can just put it in the little shopping cart and then load it up with your little 
many brands and there you go but it's really really cute now i'm even more excited i hope we get some of the other cart options because oh oh my gosh okay i just love it all right ball number two ball number one was really really lucky i don't think we got a single duplicate so let's keep let's keep that energy moving forward with the rest of the video i hope we have the same luck let's open up this section we got yay another new one oh my gosh i love velveeta velveeta shells and cheese so it's like a different little type of boxed macaroni last time we saw the traditional craft mac and cheese and now we see velveeta and on the back of the box it says liquid gold so there is that one next section oh it's our first repeat we got more salad dressing we got another thing of the craft thousand island next section oh no we got the tropical punch kool-aid again we saw this one i think three or four times in the last video i wish they would have done more kool-aid flavors it would have been really cool honestly if they would have done like little tiny kool-aid packets that would have been so fun ah another repeat the blue diamond smokehouse almonds which these are really cute but oh i feel like it started out so promising you guys Okay, what is in here? Ah, I thought it was something new. But once again, it is the same original roast, Maxwell House coffee. Once again, I feel like Maxwell House makes a ton of different varieties. I wish they would have just made more. I honestly wish they would have started out this time with 110 things to collect. I like more. More is more. I don't know what that slogan is from, more is more. I just know that it is a thing. It's like, I think, therefore I am. Oh my God, do you guys remember like in the, I don't know if this was like in the, in the late 90s or the early 2000s, but they had those little like t-shirt kiosks in the middle of the mall that had all these like weird random slogans. And it was like, I swear for every like um, sport and like school activity that you could be doing, it's like, I cheer, therefore I am. I act, therefore I am. <laughs> I play soccer, therefore I am. And it was like, I just, I feel like that phrase was like so popular back in the day and I'm like, but why? Ball number three. What is it trying to focus? Oh my God, this backpack. I keep trying to see the camera like focus on something and I'm like, but, but what, what are you focusing on? No, it's more Almond Breeze. You guys, this is a heavy repeat one as well. We saw that one three or four times in uh, the first unboxing as well. Oh, we have more almond nut thins we definitely saw this one two or three times last time we started off so well and now we have the same one we just saw today stove top chicken what's next what is this this looks new no it's the heinz 57 which i said in the last video i've never seen this and i've never tried this but a lot of you guys said that it is really really delicious and that i'm missing out so let's see what is this the classico ah oh, it's the same classico as well you guys classico tomato and basil I feel like if we don't start getting more new ones, you guys are gonna be disappointed with this one. All right, you guys, that's three balls down. And so far we've only gotten five new things. Everything else has been a repeat. I feel like they made series two like way more challenging than either of the previous ones. Maybe we will have some luck with ball number four. Up first we have Jello, strawberry Jello again why not cherry i have to admit i don't i don't think strawberry is one of my favorite flavors of jello honestly i'm more of a a cherry girl i feel like strawberry sometimes tastes like a little bit too artificial ah <gasps> yay oh my gosh okay i think that we just got super lucky we did i can see by the handle oh my gosh okay now i'm very very excited again because i got another style of push carts this is so detailed i love shopping carts like this i feel like i don't see them too often you have to leave me a comment down below if grocery stores in your area have carts like this this is one of those awesome little carts 
Do you guys see that? It's like the little handle pulls up and there's two wheels on the back. Oh! I just pulled the handle right out. It's one that you like pull along like that. Now the only store that I did see baskets like this in was Spirit Halloween last year and it was so much fun. They had shopping carts like this, but I can't say that I've ever seen a grocery store around here have little carts like this, but this is so cute and you can actually fit quite a bit in here. I mean, once again, I'm really shocked by the size of the little carts and stuff this year. And also, um, you know, how intricate they are. Like this has this little handle here that lifts and lowers. Ta-da! Skeleton grocery shopping. And it looks like we have three left here for ball number four. Oh, it's more Velveeta, the exact same kind. So we just saw this. I don't remember how many balls ago. Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's the garlic paste again. This was one of the items that I did not recognize last time, but a lot of you guys said that you had it in your fridge right now. And let's see, what is this? Oh, more Cool Whip, which I think we saw this about three or so times last time as well. I think we're already on ball number five. You guys, I feel like we're just flying through these today. But unfortunately, it's because we're getting a lot of repeats. Next, we are gonna get, what is, yay! Oh my gosh, you guys, these things also look bigger than I was ever expecting that they could, but look at how cute. Wow, I feel like the logo is like painted on there really brightly. I'm not sure if the detail is like coming through on camera, but these are really cute. I was honestly really, really hoping that we would get these, which I know it's kind of silly to like want paper bags, little miniature paper bags, but they do just look so realistic. And I feel like you could fit maybe more groceries. Yeah. Well, I mean, depending on which groceries you put in here, but I've already been able to get four in here so far. And the other carts and stuff, I think the max I've been able to really get in there is like two or three items. These are so, so, so cute. I really like those. Those have been some of my favorite things to see today. Okay, oh no, the Old Bay seasoning, which a lot of you guys also commented that you see a lot, even if you live in Texas. So I must just be missing it. Um, oh, organic paprika. That was one of the new ones that we already saw today. What is next? More garlic paste. Oh my gosh, you guys, I bet we have at least six of these now. And being a vampire, I don't like the garlic paste. What is this? <gasps> the vanilla. We saw that last time as well. The McCormick pure vanilla. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me say, we saw that last time. Um, okay, that is the end of that one already on to ball number six. So uh, let's see. Ooh, that was like the first clean rip that I've had today. Every other one I've been like slowly peeling it like an onion, like that. <laughs> oh, hey, that one, that one, oh my gosh. And it's like already kind of opening. Maybe this one has like some good stuff in it. I don't even see like, oh, there it is. I was like the little pull tab thing is missing. Oh, okay. Finally, a duplicate, I don't mind. We got two more of the little paper bags. I'm like so excited. You know how people used to, or maybe people still do this. Let me know, let me know if people still do this. But uh, back in the day, it was like a big thing to wrap your textbooks, like do a book cover out of grocery paper sacks. So I wonder if you had like a little tiny miniature book, could you cut up the little miniature uh, shopping bag and make like a little miniature book cover? Now I'm just crafting with five surprise mini brands. Um, okay, you know what? Speaking of that though, it's more pure vanilla, another repeat. Speaking of that, I do see a lot of people make um, keychains and earrings and other like really cute stuff out of these mini brands. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is the feta I was talking about that was actually in the front of the display. So now we will have two of these and it's a little container 
of feta cheese. Now, wouldn't it be crazy if like in series three, there was like actual little chunks of cheese or something inside of there? That would probably really raise the price of these. I mean, I know stuff like that can be done because a lot of the other uh, blind boxes and stuff that we see, especially from like Kid Robot and stuff, a lot of times they do have the transparent vinyl figures that they'll fill with like beads or glitter or other things inside of them. But I feel like it's because, you know, those retail for like a much higher price because I'm sure that that is expensive to produce if you were actually gonna like fill these items with something. Ugh! More Old Bay seasoning. You guys, I definitely feel like Old Bay seasoning is uh, the bacon bits of series two. I wonder, is it is, is it something that like the brands like work out with Five Surprise so that you're more likely to get their brand. It's like kind of a, a, a more repetitive commercial. Does that make any sense what I'm saying? It's like you're 10 times more likely to see Old Bay Spice than you are McCormick. I don't know. I don't know if the brands would care about that, if that would be like some sort of like extra subtle advertising or marketing. And then you see like Old Bay Spice 500 times and you're like, I'm now gonna buy Old Bay Spice. Even though it's called like Old Bay Seasoning. So I guess it's not working on me because I don't even remember what the product is called somehow. Don't you wonder, like sometimes I do really wonder about like subtle advertising like that. Like you see that sometimes in movies and stuff where like Pepsi or something Something will sponsor, you know, part of the film being made. So you'll just in the background, you'll see like subtle like Pepsi billboards in the back of a movie. If you guys have any good examples of that, leave them in the comments down below. That way maybe I don't just sound like a, a rambling person. I don't think I'm articulating this thought that well, but I do just wonder if it is like some sort of like subtle marketing. I don't know. All right, up next, we got more strawberry jello. Ah. I didn't even look on the chart that well to see if there were other jello flavors. Like, are there other possibilities? Or if we get jello, is it always gonna be strawberry jello? <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, we got another one of the carts like this. I saw all the yellow plastic and I got really excited. You guys, I'm still really, really holding out hope uh, that we're gonna see the register. Although a bunch of you guys did send me messages after the last video because I guess that this same brand actually makes like a mini mart. So it's like you get a register that I think is even more sophisticated than the one that you can pull out of the balls. It's like a whole, it's like almost like a miniature grocery store diorama and you can put all of your uh, mini brands on the shelves. There's like registers. It's, it is very, very cute. We actually got something new, you guys. I'm just blitzing through these almost as if I'm like literally expecting to get nothing new at this point. But we got Philadelphia cream cheese, which is a key ingredient of my all time favorite dessert, which is Cheerio cream cheese pie. Do any of you guys like that? Um, up next, more garlic sauce. We also got Miracle Whip, which unfortunately we got two or three times in the first unboxing as well. Okay, um, first we got, oh, oh, oh no. Hey, but you know what? I still kind of don't mind because I do love the little shopping carts so much, but we got another traditional shopping basket like this. Moving on, more Velveeta. I love Velveeta, you guys, but I'm sick of it today. Up next, we got more bacon and it is, ooh, you guys, we got some funky bacon. Some very, very funky bacon. Look at that. It's like the little, the bacon label is all messed up. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up on this camera too. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Also, now I'm doubting my camera setup. Maybe I should have been filming the little up close thing with this camera the whole time. Focusing seems better. I'll know for next unboxing. Um, let's see here. What? Oh, more McCormick organic paprika. One last section. Maxwell House. More Maxwell House. Oh my gosh, you guys, we only have four 
more. I can't believe it. These went by so, so fast today. So fast. I almost said they grow up too fast, but what, what does that mean? These aren't growing. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just making things up as I go along. You know what, when they unravel like this, they remind me of those, um, well, not, not like that, but you know when you like slowly peel and they're like those Christmas crackers and they're like made out of paper and then you slowly like peel them, you peel to reveal. A magical holiday surprise. What? Ooh! Oh, it's a shelf. <laughs> I'm like, I'm excited. I'm very excited to see the. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm very excited to see something new. But at the same time, the shelves kind of are my least favorite. But hey, this shelf might have changed my opinion on the shelves. I don't know if the other shelf is going to be like this as well, but this one is way better constructed and more sophisticated than any of the shelves we've ever seen before. This one is on wheels, which I don't know why I like the items on wheels a little bit better than the items without wheels. There's also like two stickers. So it looks like all candy. I keep looking at this and thinking it's a carrot, but it's not, it's not a carrot. I feel like that's the reason that I don't like the shelves as much is I feel like they're just not very proportionate to the actual items. Um, see, cause I can't, I can't really put like anything on this bottom shelf. Ah, there the coffee fits, but like nothing else would fit with the coffee that I can think of. Cause like these little things that are super skinny are way too tall. I don't know, let me know what you think about the shelves. Let's see, did we get, <laughs> did we get more taco seasoning? Yes, we did. We saw this one quite a few times last time as well. I love the taco seasoning. But I don't need any more taco seasoning. Oh, it's more Lunchables. We saw this last time as well. The exact same one. The pizza, little pepperoni pizza kit. And let's see what is next. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited about this one. I saw this on the list last time and I absolutely love pickles. And so that's what this is. It's meant to be a jar of pickle spears. And I think the brand is Clausen. Now I feel like normally we get Vlasic, uh, but I love these little jar ones. Like, I don't know what it is about like transparent, transparent little bits of plastic, but oh, I love it. I love when there's transparent bits on any of these little collectible things. So these are Clausen kosher dill spears, but that one, oh my gosh, definitely one of my favorite food items we've seen today. Okay, let's see one last section. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm so excited for this one as well, which this is probably kind of a funny thing to be excited about, but this is literally one of my favorite. And I don't know how much of a bland taste palette that I have, but this is honestly one of my favorite types of seasonings to put on food. It is Lowry seasoning salt. And I just love, like if I'm making like homemade French fries or something, I love to just put Lowry seasoning salt on them or a lot of times I'll just eat like slices of tomato and I love to just put a little dash of Lowry seasoning salt on top of it. So good. I am a gourmet chef, don't you know me and my Lowry seasoning salt. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one in our kitchen right next to our real full-size Lowry seasoning salt. I'm gonna have to imagine that the shopping register thing is probably so hard to get. I don't even, I still, I don't even understand how they fit that into one of these bowls. So I sure do hope I see it. It's, what is this? Oh, more Velveeta. More Velveeta, shells and cheese. How many times is that? Four? I feel like that's four. I feel like we have four of those today. We got bacon. Oh, it's more organic paprika. It's more, I'm already anticipating a repeat. It's more, it is, it is more chicken stock. Oh, are we not gonna get one new one? Just one, just one new one out of this entire thing would be divine. Okay, it is, aha, uh -huh. we got another cart, but 
I'm trying to see. Oh, it's the it's it's the one like this. Only this one and one more. We only have two chances left to see the register, you guys. I hope we get lucky. Okay. It is. What did we get? Oh, more pickles. More pickle. I almost said more pickle spheres. Can you imagine if pickles came in spheres? That would just be very strange. We got, oh no. I think it's a repeat too. We got, yep, we got the exact same rolling shelving unit. Oh no. I was hoping it was at least gonna be the other shelf we haven't seen. Okay, what's next? Oh, we got A1. Okay, so it is time for a comparison between the gold A1. You know what? I completely forgot that the metallic ones exist, the glow in the dark ones exist, the gold ones exist, because this time we haven't gotten a single one like that. But this was the gold super rare A1 sauce that we got last time. And now we got the regular A1 sauce. I know this might be kind of a silly thing to say, but I have to admit, I kind of like the regular A1 sauce better. Just cause like I said, you know, we kind of, we put them by the real products. So it's just really fun for me to have like the, the little tiny miniatures next to the actual real things. Oh, okay, more caramels. I actually don't mind this cause I feel like if I was gonna make jewelry or a keychain or something out of these, I would probably, turn the little caramels. Doesn't that just look cute? Or does it look like, what is that hanging off of her ear? It is Lunchables, you guys. And I don't know if I'm just having a fake little memory I just made up in my head, but I thought that that Lunchable was one of the options that could be metallic. Last one, you guys. What are we gonna get? You know what? I forgot. I was actually gonna try and like weigh these. I was gonna like weigh each ball and like put a little sticker on it. And then we would know if there was like a super big difference in the different weights. Like if you're gonna get a shelf or something or not. I don't know. I should have done that. Oh, it's more A1. It is the A1 that we just saw. It's the regular little bottle of A1. Okay, next strawberry jello. Oh my gosh, you guys, I don't even know. Well, probably considering the carts. Maybe we got 10 other new ones out of this whole thing. Oh, it was our last opportunity to get the cart, but we got another one of the little ones like this. I think we only got two of those like that today. Okay. Next, it is more Philadelphia. Cream cheese, two more little sections. Oh, more garlic paste in the same section with the little checklist. And was that it? Oh, that was it. I thought we had like one more section to go. All right, you guys, it's time for the tally. And then I will come back with the result. In conclusion, we got 14 new items today. So uh, that is including all of the little shelf things, which, you know, this one we are missing, which honestly, I'm kind of okay with that because I swear that is the exact same shelf as the other seasons, but I really, really wish we would have gotten this. So now we're missing 19 items still overall. I do kind of just wish that they would make it like a little bit more, <laughs> I guess, easy to get some of these like super rare ones at the top because out of a whole case, we only got one gold one and one metallic one. And I'm really shocked to see that the Old Bay seasoning that we just keep getting a million repeats of is in fact one of the metallic options. I swear we got like eight of those or maybe even more. It was definitely like one of the most repeated ones. Also the nut fins were also like a super repeated one. Those can be metallic as well as the Miracle Whip, which we didn't get that one like too many times. I feel like four times overall in the entire case. And then we got a ton of these Almond Breeze as well, which is the only one glow in the dark one. I wish they would have made more glow in the dark options as well. I think that there was like three or four different glow in the dark ones last time. 
so yeah, other than that, the only other thing that I really thought we were going to see, because I don't understand what a collector's case is. Maybe that's like an entirely different product because I don't think I showed you guys this in the last video, but there are about three or four different of these little things in pink boxes. That one's actually really cute. It's a unicorn macaroni and cheese. And then the French's mustard. I cannot tell what this is. Coconut milk. So there's three. There's three of them that have these little diamonds in them. And then if you read down here what that means, somewhere on the chart, it says like collector's case exclusive. So uh, silly me, I thought that if you got like an entire collector's, I'm dropping them. If you get an entire collector's case, I thought this was a collector's case. But it must not be. I don't know. I don't know what that is. They actually got released in stores on the 14th. So just earlier this week. And I know a lot of you guys have already started collecting them as well because you've been sending me pictures of the items that you've gotten in your little mystery balls, which is really cool because I've seen a lot of them. Like there was like a Country Time Lemonade and stuff. So y'all have been getting a lot of them that I haven't seen yet. So it's been fun to see you guys' collections as well. But let me know, should I try and get more of these should we try and get the last 18 or 19 that we're missing would you guys want to see another unboxing of this or are you kind of over it because we did get so many repeats this time let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below i would kind of like to open some more because i am still on the quest i really want to see what that register looks like because it even comes with like a little um computer monitor and everything i don't know I'm just like, how, how does this fit? How does this fit in one of those little balls? I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back very, very soon. Bye.